Well, Swinney here again from the Swilly Drive School of Motoring. This time we're going to give a demonstration on a hill start. Another, another exercise you'll be asked to do during your driving test. Now, it's, they're going to lift you off on a hill. The, the object of the exercise is to see if you can control the vehicle and if you can use your hands and feet and observation around you is important at the same time. Don't move off there's anything coming. Don't pull in a stop where there's a continuous white line in the road. So in a place like this, it's okay. We're going to give you an idea of what I'm doing here when I'm doing a hull start. First of all, I have my seat belt on to make sure that my seat belt's on whenever I'm doing my driving test. I'm going to start up my engine, make sure it's neutral, my handbrake's on, the vehicle's secured. Put the clutch in and start up the engine. Now we lift off in first gear. <coughs> Clutch down in the first gear, I check round my mirrors, I look on the left side, I look over my right side, nothing coming, I put on a signal, I let the clutch out to what we call biting point, very slowly. How do you know feel, biting point no? We feel the engine cutting down and you feel a wee movement in the car. Clutch the biting point, hold it there, take a wee look over your shoulder, release your handbrake and move off. Do you need to give it gas no? A little bit of gas, a little bit of petrol, we'll do it again. We'll stop again, handbrake on, clutch down at the first gear, take a wee look around you, check over your shoulder, put on your right signal, a little bit of petrol again, lift off in a hull, clutch out to your biting point, there, release the handbrake, a wee look again, nothing, we're away. And that, folks, is your hull start.